from my satchel. I pass on to you on the wings of prophecy, the stones, the stranger placed at my door. I pass on to you in the sermon's fire, the burdens I will not carry. This is how I lighten my load and how I can walk through the looming gloom ahead of me. I am the author of my shame, the wounded and the worried, and I close my eyes to push away the darkened lights speeding toward my center. Thank you for that, Connie. I, I asked Connie to read this um, poem because I, I thought it would be a great way to begin the discussion about um, what it means to stand in the shadows, to, I mean, as you know, we're both writers, but what does it mean to bring our diasporic self forward even after we are gone? How do we do that? How do we, as writers, as thinkers, as teachers, as mentors, make sure that the work that we're doing stays relevant mm -hmm. beyond us? Mm -hmm. And so I, I thought it'd be great if you could start us off talking about um, when you began the African Poetry Book Fund mm -hmm. and what compelled you to do it. Yeah. Um, the so the, it's really interesting because if we date it, the African Poetry Book Fund is now going into its tenth year. But the the genesis of it would be about twelve years ago, which means that <clears throat> APBF happened. The African Poetry Book Fund happened after Calabash is born. After. In the 90s, I was here doing um, Afro-style uh, poetry school. After work I did in South Carolina, Poetry Initiative, and work of developing this poet. When was Calabash introduced? So Calabash began in 2001. Yeah, because we ran with our daughter in 2020. That's right. And she was two at the time. That's right. So you came in like the, the second or third year of Calabash. Now, all of the, I mentioned these things because there is a sense in which in those sort of 20, 25 years, something really specific happened to me, which is 20, 25 years ago. So I'm in my 40s, and um, sort of, you know, hustling as a writer and so on, and spending a lot of time saying things like, you know, somebody should, you know, somebody should, you know, somebody should, and um, a, a moment of epiphany was there was. Nobody, <laughs> so, you know, and, and so, so then, and so the idea that it begins here becomes important, which should not have been a, a revelation, because, and the way that you ask the question makes me think about it, is that I grew up with parents who were as much as